Now, all the employees of the defunct Kenya Petroleum Refinery Limited will be absorbed by the Kenya Pipeline Corporation. Corporation. Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Chirchir says KPC is working on a plan to revive the dormant oil refinery which was acquired by the government from Indian oil giant ESA. The CS spoke during a tour of the facility in Mombasa County. Kenya Pipeline Corporation comes into KPRL with a very strong balance sheet, Your Excellency, of about 150 billion shillings. And with a, com a strong company coming in to take KPRL, we can be able to see once again activities. So we expect Kenya Pipeline and the CEO is here, Joe Sang, uh, with his team and the board to quickly look at the investment option, take advantage of our location, and ensure that KPRL is working for us, working for the region, working to make our, our lives better. So we'll be looking at that and working quickly because opportunities are not going to be there waiting. Nobody's losing jobs. We had, um, like Governor said again, we had uh, PwC, PricewaterhouseCoopers, uh, doing a study to confirm which was the best uh, acquisition option. And uh, we've zeroed in on uh, the acquisition by transfer of shares as opposed to transfer of business. Uh, that would have uh, many uh, challenges. Uh, the county government of Mombasa will give written delegated powers to the engineers at uh, Kenya Pipeline uh, so that when it comes to matters of approval, we'll allow them to be able to uh, approve to remove all these bottlenecks. However, urban planning will be included so that in our planning, when we are now planning the whole of Mombasa, we can now not have a problem where there's going to be an oil pipeline is crisscrossing where there's water pipeline. And um, it has been something that has been a nightmare in the past.